is. Today the topic is flying ahead. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. Just want to talk to, I'm just going to really advise us. I really don't want to preach today. Amen. Amen. Flying ahead. What does it mean when we talk about flying? Flying means that we have raised ourselves above the ordinary level. You are not on the ground. You have raised yourself. Not somebody raises you, but you raise. Far one fly, that person there, far one fly. If eagle wants to fly, is there somebody that helps the eagle to fly? You will be trained to fly, but when you know how to fly, you fly. You fly when trouble is coming, you fly when you want to enjoy yourself. You fly when you want to just show the nature of you you are. That you know how to fly. That means if you are among the flying creatures. Yet, as a Christian, the Bible teaches us in the book of Isaiah 60 that we should not remain on the ground. Isaiah 60 verse 1, we have been dealing with it for since December, tells us that we should not remain on the ground. It says, Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It's an instruction telling you that you don't put yourself on the ground because you have been created to fly. Not just fly, but to fly ahead. To take off before anything will pin you down. This 2023 is going to be a year full of signs and wonders. It's going to be a year of miracles. But you have to get yourself prepared for those miracles. And one of the preparations is what I'm telling you. That God is instructing you in 2023. Don't let anything pin you down. You have wings. The wings of the word of God. The wings of the Holy Ghost. To make you to be able to rise in any storm, any circumstances of life. Nothing should make you be on the ground. It's an instruction from God and a commandment at that. Say amen somebody. Amen. amen. Because he has been telling us and we have been reading it, he's saying God is here to deliver. He needs people to trust in him. He needs people to rely on him. Let's go quickly. Like I said, I'm just going to advise us. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 4. We are going to start from 7. I want to tell you that nothing happens to you that has not happened to somebody else before. Stop crying over spleen leak. Every problem has a solution. Stop crying over the past. Stop weeping and making me a baby over spleen leak. Let the past go and rise up and face the future. It's time for us to get matured as a Christian, to get matured as a person, as a woman, as a man. It's hard time. When you say that you are an adult and now that you are an adult, you want to be like a child again and start crawling? How will you feel if you start crawling on the street? Won't they say something is wrong with you? That is how it is when people look at your life. And they look at my life. After so many years in the church, we call ourselves Christians and we are still on the ground most of the time. God said, no, don't let anything put you on that ground. It's a decision you need to take yourself. It's not something that somebody will take for you. What are those things that you keep crying over? It has passed. You keep crying over. A problem that has solution. You are rejecting the solution. Instead of accepting the solution and working with the solution, this is the kind of people that God wants in 2023 and God will work with. Because God said that wisdom comes from above and it is pure and it is peaceful. Wisdom is ability to gain the knowledge of God and to, be, and to start using it. Stop this talking of I am not a pastor. So God is not expecting me to do something. Who told you that? 
Pastor is a title. Pastor is a man. Pastor is a woman that goes through everything that the Bible writes just like you. He or she only takes the decision to seek first the kingdom of God and put God first. So she uses the Bible to interpret things for you. And she uses the Bible to interpret things for herself or himself. The pastor goes also through troubles. And needs the power of the word of God to solve that problem. This year 2022, I struggled. I struggled. I struggled. My leaders know the devil look for my trouble. But he's a failure. And we continue to be a failure. The only thing that has kept me standing, I come to church at times I can't even pray. Because of things like the storms, is the word of God. Kept me above that I will still stand here to preach and nobody even know that I'm going through my own hell. Except those who are close to me, my leaders. They don't know. People don't know I'm going through hell in my home. But I come here to encourage people. Because the word of God comes first. And in the word of God, I have been able to find my solution. There is a solution for your problem. Stop staying on the ground. It's time to start taking the thing that is the solution and applying it in our life. We can't be sucking our hand, sucking our finger. Like a baby. He said, grow. Malaba Shetoriaha. He says something leads you to what is called rest. Again, he limited, he limited the certain day. Now they are saying today, if you, today, after so long a time, as it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. God wants to. If you look at the Bible, those who gave miracles, those who have signs and wonders, every nation, our team in every nation church for this year is miracles. That is a general thing for every nation. It's miracles. Amen? And if you look into the Bible, everybody that gets something from God, they arose before they could shine. They took the decision to allow solution to come to their problem. They did not remain in that problem. Before you have arrest, you have to fight what is arresting you. Before you have a rest, you must learn how to take away the thing that makes you to be unrestful. You cannot be a man or a woman and you are grumbling against your husband and your wife and then you have solution, you don't want to apply it. Why do you love fighting in the home? Why do you love quarreling in the home? Why do you want to fight every day and you drive away the blessings? When are we going to arise and grow? And be united. Don't you see that the enemy doesn't like peace in the home? Can you not observe it that he doesn't want you to be happy? Do you think it's that friend that is abusing you? Do you think it's that guy that is saying something wrong with you? That when we look grow and let them say, why should their talk be a problem to your decision? Why should their talk be what is affecting what you want to become? Why is your behavior affecting you negatively? My brothers and my sister, 2023, you want to have rest. Take away everything that makes you to be unrestful. Now your mama, now your papa, come out from your mind. Now your husband, now your wife, come out from your mind. Now your children, come out from your mind. He said, cast your body not to God. He will give you rest. Solution is in the word of God. That is where I draw my hope. That is where I draw my strength. That is why I can always stand and still preach. Not because I don't go through problem. You know you come to church. It's not as if you don't have problem. You know and you have learned how to fly ahead. Flying ahead is outwitting the devil. Jesus flew ahead of the devil. The devil did not know. He thought that if he killed Jesus, that is the end. He killed Jesus, Jesus rose again. If one can die, and the spirit asks that one to come up because his time never finished, what do you think will happen to you? 
everything that the enemy wants to kill, Lord has killed. By the Spirit of God, it is arisen. I say it is risen. Because you must fly ahead. Your programming, your mindset should be beyond what the enemy is thinking. That is what the Bible gives us the privilege to have. He said, There remain, therefore, her rest to the people. For he that is entered into his, his rest, he also has ceased from his own work, has gone deep from his. So let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. This animal fall after the same example of what all believe. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edges sword. Piercing evil to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a descender of the thought and the intent of the heart. How do it? Take it to the end. Malia Sia. The word of God is quick, quick enough to give you the solution to the problem. He said, Neither is there any creature, nothing is hidden. Our Bible is not hidden, it is taken before the word of God. Juju, generational problem is not hidden. That business you want to do, the IQ that you need to make the business to work out fine, is not hidden. It is written in the word of God. What you must do to make your business flourish. For those who are planted in the house of God, he said they shall be fat and flourishing. In the book of Psalm 92, believe it here. He said even in all things they will still be a fruit. The time you are using to quarrel, why don't you use it to start a business? Do you know that you can change that idea that you are using to quarrel into something? Why should we be going to our village and be packing our food stores and bringing it to us? What do you do? You know that I saw that they are packaging, I don't know what else they say they are packaging. I say, away for my grow grow eye. The energy that you are using, God said no. Divide the energy towards the rightful thing. Don't allow your husband get you angry and your head is scattered in everything. You are having headache, almost having hypertension. Because that thing that he has done, you don't want to let it go in the hammer, 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 hammer. But yet you sleep in the same flat. You know the shame. Say, grow. I have come to advise you. Because miracles now happen. Look at that, the woman with issue of blood. She went and threw the miracle. She made up her mind that this problem was solved. Solution came. He says, see that we have a great high priest. Because everything is naked. That is passed into the heaven. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we do not have a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our, of our infirmities. He knows what we are feeling. But was in no point tempted like we are, yet without sin. That is where I'm going to. He did not sin in all the temptations. I know go follow and talk. Me, I know go talk again. Jesus did not sin, even though he was tempted. And that was our master, the author and the finisher of our faith. That is the one that we are looking on to. Who is the example for us? You say you don't want to read the Bible, now you sabi. He said, let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. This year, 2023, Ooh. God will help you, Jesus. Yeah. I said this year, 2023, we never enter, but we're entering. God will be your divine help yeah. that will make you to sing praises unto him and will make you to live a life of enjoyment in your mighty name of Jesus. Don't worry, I'm looking at the time. Amen. Amen. The book of 2 Timothy. Let's do quick, let's do quick. I'll let you three minutes. 2 Timothy 3 15. He said, And there from a child thou hast known the only scriptures which are able to make you wise unto salvation, unto solution. He said, from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture, which are able to make you wise unto salvation, through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. For all Scripture is given by the inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. It will instruct you and make you to know the right things to do. He said that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly 
being furnished, prepared for every good works, which involve peace in your home, peace in your life, peace in your business, prosperity, plenty, plenty goodness, every good works. He said the word of God furnish you, furnish you, equip you for every good works. Everything that is good, the word of, word of God makes you to have them. You will be able to do the right things. You will be able to let go. You will be able to forgive. Forgive your husband. Forgive your wife. Forgive your children. Forgive your neighbors. Forgive your friends. They shouldn't determine your destiny. I wasn't the one decision. Your destiny and your friends should not be determined. You know that some people have already celebrated a new year last year and uh, six, about six hours ago. They are already in their new year. Our new year, so people will celebrate new year six hours later from now that we are celebrating. You know that? Well, I thought of that and I say, why is it like that? That is not the whole world. And this thing just come to my mind and I said it, wrote it to my senior brother evangelist and said it because he sent me a clip that some have celebrated new year. And then I went to YouTube and I bought Australia. You! This is what came to my mind. You determine your time and your season. That was the spiritual that God gave me for that clip. And I wrote it to the corner. You are the one. This 2023 to determine that your own time and your season. And the start is three. Don't go there. Says that there is a time to laugh, a time to cry, a time to enjoy, a time to dance. Your time and your season, you need to open your mouth to speak it. You need to open your mouth to declare it. Keep saying it until it happens. Keep doing it in every time. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It's better you miss it. Don't fool yourself. Concentrate. If you don't shout happy new year, uh, 12 o'clock does not mean that the year will not be happy. I'm telling you what will make your year happy. It's not your shouting it. So just cool down. I'm looking at the clock. The word of God instructs you to do the right things. He said from a child you know the Holy Scripture. Why are you not doing that? Everything that you have had, that you have been hearing in this church, why are you not applying it? How long are you going to be a baby Christian? The Bible, Paul was talking to Timothy, he said, I observe you. Immediately you get a child born again, you live born again. You will be receiving the word of God. And that word of God, you have taken it personal. It has made you to become wise. No wonder that Timothy, they said he was 17 years old when he started pastoring the church. Are you hearing me you that you want to shut up in here? 17 years old, he started pastoring the church. Because from childhood, he allowed the scripture. The word of God to guide him. May the word of God guide you in 2023. May the word of God guide you in 2023. May the word of God guide you in 2023. May the word of God guide you in 2023. And I have spoken and I have told us this 2023 is our year of divine head of praise.
He said, I will bring you health and cure. The Lord will cure all your sicknesses. The Lord will cure all your diseases. The Lord God will reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth in your mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is your own, that the enemy has taken to captivity, they are restored unto you in your mighty name of Jesus. Food. The Bible said, with the strength of that food, 
He went for fasting for 40 days. We are only going to fast for 21 days. But we are eating food of strength tomorrow. So, I mean, this morning, we are eating the food of strength this morning when we come to church. Don't miss the first Sunday of 2023. Amen. Hallelujah. Who wants to say the word here? Help me, Father. We give us on to you. Father, thank you for your insurance of your children that are here right now. You are given insurance on their forehead. This is the reason why you are coming from 2023 January, the very first day, or throughout these five days in that year. You have insured them. Father, let your grace come upon them. Let every help that they need throughout this year be parted to their spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, show them the way they should go. Jesus Christ, you are our Lord and Savior. You told us it's already over. You overcome this world for us. Yes. These are yours, your children, sons and daughters. For that reason, Lord. Last year, we struggled with the enemy. The end has come. No more struggle with your children. Amen. Let your help come upon every single one this year. Amen. That they will never again struggle in the name of Jesus Christ. This year, 2023, Father. You shall receive help from you. Amen. The enemy will not be able to separate them from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I will put us for every single one that is here right now. Let your grace come upon them. See, let's fly away from them because you are doctor of doctors. Holy Ghost, take over. Amen. Take over. Amen. Open the spiritual eye to understand the way. So we allow anyone to confuse anymore, Father. We are grateful for the very first day of 2023. Father, happy to be a point of throughout the rest of the year in the name of Jesus. That we are going to celebrate you, Father. Amen. Let them know who you are. Jesus, you said it's all over. Amen. Children will never suffer anymore. Amen. Only if we take over that every single one, the insurance that are taking this money from you, by touching them with the anointing, Father, anywhere they go. Faith of follow them anywhere they go. Amen. That even the ministers all over this street of the altar to follow up in them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father. They will never have problem anymore, Father. Amen. Your help has come. Amen. Show them who you are. Amen. That when you say yes, no one can change you. Father, every small that is here, put your mark in them right now. Amen. That they will go favor me anywhere they go Amen. from this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you. We are grateful that we don't know what's going on in the world. What the world Corona that was not here. We are in 2023. In the name of Jesus Christ, the shoulders that the Lord has covered you with. You will never be affected with any disease anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Know that you are blessed. And remain blessed throughout this year. 365 days in this year. You shall never suffer any help from evil. Rather, the Lord will be your portion anywhere you go. All your needs will be given, given up to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. you are blessed. Amen. The grace to remain with the Lord will be given to you right now. Amen. To remain in his house, that the enemy will not take you away. Amen. Because you know your blessings are here. Amen. Many don't know what's going on. For that is the Lord. Teach you your grace. Amen. To know and remain in you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, Amen. for blessing your children right now. In Jesus' presence, I pray for you all.